Hello Bethel, my name is Ed Dembozik. I am a graduate from Bethel from April 2019. This is my wife Karen. And we thought we'd be a little different using this video testimony uh, to give uh, kind of a joint testimony of what Bethel did for us. Karen, what was our life like before I went to Bethel? It was crazy, it was chaotic. It was um, emotional and um, emotional draining actually it was um, never knew what you were gonna get um, if he stayed home from work and I went to work I didn't know if I was gonna come home to uh, somebody that was actually sick or hung over or drunk more or what I felt more like a mother <clears throat> than I did a wife and it was very um, very hard situation and uh, Sometimes I felt like, why not just join them? And uh, th they were tough times. They were. Um, I, I, I mean, I just, the best way I can describe it is, I mean, I was just dead. Uh, our life was dead. We, I was constantly getting drunk. And as she said, I, I just, I was out of control. I was starting to miss work. Um, broke my arm. A lot of things going on that were wrong. And even though I was a believer, I just, I had far, as a pastor of our said, I had gone way to the far country. And um, I finally hit rock bottom right after Christmas. As a matter of fact, the whole Christmas week of 2018 is a blur to me. I was drunk the whole week. Don't even remember what I got for Christmas. But I finally realized that this wasn't going to work. And uh, off to Bethel, I went. And that was still t tough for us. There were some things going on that, it's too, too much involved to go in here, but um, what, what did Bethel mean to you, Karen, as I was there? It meant a place that you were safe, that you were getting help, um, that I didn't have to worry about you. Um, I guess he was no longer my problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was really a child to her, and I do remember those days where I was um, uh, home and... Um, and, and drunk and, and she tried to get a hold of me and I would pass out and she would come home at lunch to check on me and so I, yeah it was like you were a parent but at least at Bethel I found um, found protection for one uh, and that was a big relief to you but more importantly Bethel was a place that my eyes were open to who I was as a, as a believer it was it was drinking was a way to cover my shame and my guilt from a life of failure and I started getting to the point where I couldn't take it anymore. I knew God had bigger plans for me, but I kept letting them down. And the drinking was a way to deal with that pain. And finally at Bethel, I was awoken to who I was in Christ, that I was a new creation, that, that God did love me. And one of my favorite Psalms that, that I actually heard uh, maybe for the first time there at Bethel uh, was Psalms 18. And, and part of that is him drawing us out of the deep water and rescuing us, but it was all because he delighted in us delighted in me and I took that personal and that was a changing point for my life and and Bethel also gave us an opportunity Karen and I got uh, marital counseling as well and Pastor Zach was wonderful and he would spend as much time as we needed to deal with the issues that we had that we there had was many. lost over and um, we came out um, a new couple I think and uh, as we got to know each other again because this was a new um, creation it yeah. was just as i was a new creation she became a new creation we both uh together as a couple we became a new creation didn't we we did and we started to you know and i had a lot of resentment when he came out of certain things and we've worked through that and um he's been delighted in a lot of things and enlightened in a lot of things and it's just uh bethel is a, if you just open up and and let the spirit take you um you can overcome what you're struggling with now and um at the time when we were going through it i really honestly i could i didn't i could i didn't think it was gonna work and uh you have to want to change and you have to want to give it to god and you have to trust in god and as long as you do it and i know that the struggles are real on everyone um but as long as you have your mindset you can do anything through Christ. It, it has been an incredible journey since I've left Bethel. We, we had many issues that, uh, that we still had to deal with and, and God got us through that and there's still some issues that we 
deal with, but the thing that is so clear to us is uh, the, the restoration that God gives us through His grace. That is the most incredible thing to me. All those years that I wasted, uh, all those times that I failed God, God is still using us and and he is in a beautiful way some of the things we do with ministry and and um it, it just it is what a feeling it is to be restored in god's grace and it was all um, because we finally yielded i finally decided to just give it all to god finally get rid of my shame and guilt and say take it and he did he rescued us he he, he did wonders and and bethel was such a central part of that we'll never forget bethel and um what a blessing. Um, but <laughs> I'm just so excited for the rest of our journey. And um, what an amazing thing. So um, we, we, uh, we pray for Bethel daily. We pray for all the students. We pray for the, the leaders, the pastors, and, and, the, and all those that support this wonderful ministry. Uh, I know God is still doing great things. And maybe somebody out there tonight, uh, maybe next year when they do a video or go in person, hopefully in person, to Bethel, you'll have a testimony where God's grace just was poured out for you. Thanks, Karen, for joining me on this little testimony. <laughs> You're welcome, and um, God bless you all at Bethel. Um, it's an amazing place. You've just got to want it as um, you're there. Take the opportunity and run with it. Amen. It can change you. 